Ah, bad morning, bad morning, everybody. It's Keith at 50th Street Studio. We're going to start this week's episode of Bad Saturday Morning. Uh, yes, Chris, it's a fat He-Man dressed in this uh, ridiculous Santa Claus suit on some other planet <laughs> in some other dimension far, far away. Um, rendering Christmas meaningless, as uh, all network Christmas specials do. And uh, before we get started with our our favorite weekly shows, let me introduce my co-host. It is Mike from... Ah, Ivory has just donated. Hi, Ivory. Glad to see you. It is Mike... Bad Saturday morning, everybody. Yeah, bad Saturday morning, <laughs> Mike. It is Mike from the Mr. Fox Guy channel. Uh, if you're not... Hey, uh, if you're not following Mike on the uh, on the Mr. Fox Guy channel, you should. He shows uh, bad movies that even I have often never seen or heard of, <laughs> and uh, they are god awful bad. I, I co-hosted oh, yeah. uh, a movie with him last night. Um, a Braxis Guardian of the Universe. Guardian of the Universe, starring. Um, Starring Jesse the Body Ventura. Jesse the Body Ventura. <laughs> uh, before he was long before he was governor of Minnesota, and oh, yeah. um, I have to say the movie wasn't so much bad as it was just um, nothing was on screen. Nothing ever happened. Yeah, there was a lot of exposition. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of ideas that just were not in the right hands. A lot of ideas that were other people's ideas. Yeah, um. yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you had bad movie bingo, you yeah. probably could have like got yeah. bingo within the first half yeah. hour. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Chris, thank you for the ten dollars. Uh, how much wow. did we get from uh, How much did we get from Ivory there? Five dollars. So that takes us to fifteen. Mm -hmm. Fifteen dollars. Well, uh, no yeah, Ivory says, "What you talking about? These movies are gold." Well, <laughs> I don't know what passes for gold where you come from. Uh, ivory. Um, one but, one person's tin foil is another person's gold. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, speaking of which, we have a uh, uh, we have a hundred dollar goal for every weekend here at Fifty Street Studio, and that takes us to, to fifteen percent of it. It's easy when the the total is a hundred. The percentage is easy. Um. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll be back on. I'll be back on this evening at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific, and uh, I'll be showing the Star Wars Holiday Special, which I'm I'm looking forward to. It's it's terrible, but man, is it fun! Uh, <laughs> it's painful, but it's it's the it's uh, when you're watching it with friends, man, uh, uh, pure pure gold. Miranda says she donated, uh, so. Uh, that that takes us up to uh, that will take us up to twenty. Did you what did you send? Ten dollars? Five dollars? Let us know. Uh, Miranda says she's pumped for Star Wars. Chris says he is too. Um, yeah, I was gonna. Uh, my plan was to have a whole raft of co-hosts. I was gonna have five dollars. Okay, so that takes us to twenty. Twenty percent of our hundred dollar right. goal already. Um, I was gonna have a whole raft of co-hosts. So I was gonna have like like four people on screen all at the same time. And I've, I've contacted all of my regular co-hosts, and everybody's busy. So um, it may just it may end up just being me, but we'll see. Um, or, or it could be me too. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, Mike said he would let me know, and he's still he's still gonna just. Well, let I'm me letting know. you know now. Yeah, and that's okay. a definite yes. Oh, it is. Oh, awesome. Yes, it Great. is. Awesome. Okay, yes, you'll you'll see both of us then tonight. At, uh, I'll have uh, a new sweater on too. Oh, is this new? Mm. I'll have a new one on. I'll have a different one on. This is okay. one of my Christmas sweaters. I just, I was just gifted a couple of uh, yeah. uh, sweaters that are uh, germane to <laughs> the, the movie tonight. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Yep. I see a narwhal on there. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition there to goes the a dinosaur. Narwhal. Yeah, there goes a the narwhal. And that uh, looks like that. It looks like that Deinonychus is wearing a Santa hat on his tail. Yeah, he got a little confused yeah. about that, you know. So, you were saying that's a yeah. new sweater, but I would say that's about sixty million years old. It's, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> it's a little it's a little on the on the gray yeah. side, kind of yeah. like me now. But okay, well, um, well, uh, I'm glad I'm glad I'll see you tonight for Star Wars. Then, um, 
it's always I, I've gotten used to having co-hosts for these things. Um, I, traditionally, I show the movies every Saturday, sitting here by myself, and it's always more interesting when there's someone else on screen. Oh, Cherry's here. Yeah. Hi, Cherry. Hi, Cherry came in. Cherry. Yeah, good to see you. All right, let's uh, let's turn off the music, and go into the TV room and watch our weekly stories, and get our the good part. Yeah, get our weekly fix <laughs> of uh, Charge Man Ken and his terrible friends. Well, they're the they're like the they're like the positive influence on him. Imagine if he didn't have like the structure, he'd be telling everything <laughs> and everybody that caused him a slight problem, and he'd have a grievance that would uh, initiate death. His I like blood, the English and the Japanese. Yeah. His blood burning for the sake of justice. Go, go, Ken. Go, go, Ken. We, we went a couple of weeks without our Charge Man Ken theme song. I, I miss it, honestly. The general idea behind this is that Char Charge Man Ken destroys the Drillians, but neither adds to or subtracts from any of their numbers. <laughs> yeah. So it's always going to be this forever. Karen's in danger again? That's the name of the episode. That's Karen, by the way. The, the new people. She's one letter away from taking people across the river sticks. Yeah. <laughs> That one H. <laughs> Charging Karen. Charging Man Ken's little sister. Was that Our a, plan will surely yeah. work. Was that a human hand? <laughs> yeah, it's a hand, <laughs> hand model. <laughs> okay, okay. The alarm is ringing. <laughs> <laughs> Die! <laughs> <laughs> wow, and they did. Jeez. Wow. Uh, yep. Oh. Blue Man Group is off the rails. <laughs> okay. Why are they carrying bags of roll on? <laughs> and a over there. Man. <laughs> I thought it was futile. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, they shot one of them. Wasn't wasn't this something about kidnapping Karen? Whoa. Okay. Oh, hello. You live in San Francisco all of a sudden? Yeah. <laughs> well, wow, groovy man. She was wow. roller skating right through a gun battle. Why do we care? God, this would not go over well in no. the United States. No. <laughs> It <laughs> hasn't stopped him before. If I, I don't recall. What did he say? You damn what? <laughs> wow. Hmm. That isn't already ventilated a little bit. Okay, so those guys, those bank robbers are not aliens. These guys are the aliens. Oh. Huh. Okay, so we were misled. Huh. Silence. <laughs> yep, the quietest <laughs> arrest ever. Shiranda. <laughs> No idea, whatever. Uh oh. He knows what he's dealing with now. 
Yeah, Ivory. This is from Japan, and it was never syndicated in America, and I think you yeah. see why. Oh, yeah. What year was this from? 75, something like that? I've already forgotten. Sounds about right. It's pre-Star Wars. Yeah. Oh, your little thing on the top can isn't working. It's just, oh, never mind. Yeah. Well, at least she has a mask on. Charge man is coming. No sound effects. Nope. Bad timing. <laughs> oh. What's with the Dutch angles, too? Yeah. yeah. She's a trap to draw you out. Who are you guys? Oh, oh that's yeah. a shock. Yeah. Yeah. And it's over. So we learned nothing that she shouldn't be roller skating. Yeah. Hmm. Cherry, look at the same color. Yeah, Cherry says, "Where are these kids' parents? They, the, their parents appear um, in like every other episode." Mm -hmm. Dad sitting behind a desk. To heck with this. <laughs> to hell with you. <laughs> mm. At least there was some action in this episode. Yeah. We've had a couple of episodes with, where nothing was happening. We got seven people in the chat now. Welcome, everybody. Bad Saturday morning, everybody. It could be very, very bad. Yeah. <laughs> but not right. this. Yeah, let's see what the mighty Hercules is doing. Hercules, hero of song and story. Hercules, winner of ancient glory. Fighting for the right. Fighting with his might, with the strength of ten ordinary men, Hercules. <laughs> People are safe when near him, Hercules. Only the evil fear him, softness in his eyes, iron in his thighs, <laughs> virtue in his Iron in his thighs, ladies. Yeah. You got yourself a winner here. Hercules. Mow the lawn. An unexpected menace from the far north suddenly oh. appears off the rocky coast of Caledon. There's the, the boat iceberg, killer. Prometheus. There's the iceberg. But why did King Zeus send you? Send you? Because, Newton, I am the only one who knows how to use the Olympian flamethrower. Watch. So someone's going to steal it, right? Oh, that's... Okay, we don't need the Polaroids caps. Yeah. That's fine. Hey, yeah. That's a mighty powerful weapon. A mighty powerful weapon. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, and guess who's... Yeah. Weapon that will soon be mine. <laughs> guess who's watching. <laughs> Sanctions just don't work. Suffering psyche. Wait, that Is worked against Prometheus? Daedalus. Daedalus. Yeah. What do you want of me? Daedalus. Isn't Prometheus like a demigod? Like, yeah. Prometheus. Yeah. The Olympian. Oh, oh, the pilot weapons. went out. You, you get yeah. a wiggle of thing. Yeah. Huh? Mm. Got a wiggle it. Because, Daedalus, only I know the secret that will... Yeah, he already work. said that. Only, only he could do it. Mm -hmm. What is it? Speak up! You will never find out from me, Daedalus. Oh, won't I? I think you will change your mind about that. Uh, so, uh, uh bubble yeah. bath then. Yeah, what? Goodbye. Slowly but surely, the rock will sink into the ground. And you along with it, Prometheus. Unless you tell me the secret. See what 
Victoria has it. Ugh. Nothing will force me to tell you, Daedalus. Gotta get hurt. Gotta get hurt. Newton has a Hercules belt. Whoa, wait, what? Wait, he's never done this before. No. This is new. Coming down, folks. The Herc signal. Yeah. The secret. Tell me the secret before you sink out of Herc. Herc. Don't worry, Prometheus. I'll get you out of there. You think so, Hercules? I've got something to take care of you, too. <laughs> Whistles. Ah. How many times has Hercules beat up a pterodactyl? I don't know. There's not any more left than he can kill them yeah. all. Oh, nice duck. Yeah. Huh? Don't ever do that again, Newton. <laughs> Musk, call in airstrike. <laughs> Whoa, what is this deal? Bird's deal. <laughs> Hercules can help you now. The secret. The secret. Uh, ring, maybe? Time for the ring. Prometheus. Yeah, I'll just casually, yeah, fanny pack. Yeah. Hercules isn't even talking. Nope. The call goes out for the mighty Herc. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shut up, Newton. They they really had a lack wow. of a lack of dialogue for this episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just yank the rock back up. <laughs> <laughs> Treasure the skull kills him the end. No. See, Prometheus? Nothing to worry about when Herc and I are on the job. Burn him! Burn, Burn, him. Burn him! Okay, we got cheated out of a Herc exit again. Oh, come on! They can recycle that animation. Aurora Borealis came in and said, said somehow I've never seen this. Well, you have now. <laughs> yeah. you, you come back every week, you'll get a face full of it. Yeah, the, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, he didn't even carry Daedalus off. I'm sick of Daedalus, honestly. Yep. All right. Now we get to see what happened with Diver Dan. Last week... Last week he went Diver into... Diver Dan uh, is finally accepting the that the fish talk. Finally. Yeah. yeah, you're right, Miranda. Johnny Nash really kills that song. Skipper Kipper invites Dan to enter the hold and take some samples of his unwanted gold. Little does Dan know what fate has in store as Baron and Trigger lurk by the door. Oh, Crown Royal. I, I remember leaving off last week. We were concerned he was going to close the door on his hose. <laughs> Barracuda, can he just attack him? Barracuda's wicked scheme as he enters the hold of the treasure ship. The hatch is closed. Oh, they, they are going to close the door. Oh, they did. Oh, yeah. To make matters worse, the evil Baron locks the door <laughs> and steals the key. <clears throat> oh, so he is no. first evil act. Yeah. You're right, this is the first truly evil thing he's done. <laughs> yeah, the evil. Mine is an evil laugh. Hey, if I can't get the store open within a few minutes, I, I'm lost. My, my oxygen supply is cut off. 
Who, who, who could have done this? Get to vicious utility belt. Hey, looks like the Baron's dirty work, Mr. Diver. Oh, oh, oh can we get this? <laughs> out, out, brief open. candle. <laughs> I, I'm a fish. I'll be fine. It seems yeah. to be locked. Seems to be locked. Must narrate my own death. Uh, Emmy, daytime Emmy in the works. How did the fish get out? Come back as soon as possible. How many minutes of oxygen would he have in that helmet? Maybe, maybe two minutes. Yeah, he mentioned like a two or three, three minutes. Divers in trouble. The Baron locked the hatch on his air hose and he can't breathe. Can people with asthma go in one of those things? Baron. Because you really can't get the yeah. puffer to your face, everyone. you know? Yeah. Well, why would he want to hurt the diver? Oh, please, Miss Minerva, there's no time to lose. Well, for Christ's sake, let's sit around and talk about it. Oh, oh thank you, Skipper. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps this petty pace from day to day. Now saw around the lock. <laughs> saw around the lock. Yeah. He can saw Oops, through the metal. Yeah. I, I was like, my concern was that being fish, they wouldn't understand the hose and they would cut the hose. How can I ever repay? Wait, 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 diver! Don't forget your gold coins. Oh, I can just get it myself, thanks. <laughs> oh, thanks are you so gonna much. get caught there. And you may have yeah, hug a, hug a you fish, know. huh? Is he not wearing gloves at all? No, he isn't. How pruny would he be? Because we were like, how yeah. many episodes have we been down here? Uh, oh, oh, I see. Well, well, I must return to my ship now. I'll let you know the results of the gold analysis. Oh, the gold analysis. I thought you said the golden analysis. <laughs> well, kiss my grits, Golden. <laughs> Going up. up. Up, up, and away. He is paid by the hour, so... Those are actual fish swimming in front of the... Yeah. See, they're, they're filming it through a fish tank. Thanks to Sam's sawfish, our diver is free. He takes his gold samples Not and it's diver from the sea. <laughs> what schemes will Baron and Trigger now plan to bring torture and grief to good diver Dan? Torture? Yeah. Wow. Undersea justice. Well, join us next week as Diver Dan screams for his for his life. Yeah. Join us next week as uh, uh, the mermaid um, dictates that uh, Baron Barracuda be executed for attempted <laughs> murder. Yeah, we don't understand undersea justice at all. No, well, no. it's been a rough canoe trip for Rocky and Bullwinkle, and it looks even rougher ahead. For in the fog, they sailed right into... Hokey smoke, a sawmill! Hang on, Rocky! And as our heroes sat petrified, the whirling saw blade cut their frail craft right in two. Fortunately, they were on opposite sides of the boat and escaped unscathed. <laughs> but they were immediately seized by the sawmill machinery and became part of a soapbox assembly line. Hey, let me out! You can't do this to me! You know, Edward... I could swear them boxes was talking. Now look, Chauncey, boxes <laughs> is made of wooden nails, right? Right. Wooden nails cannot talk, right? Right. Ergo, a soapbox cannot talk, right? Right. Okay. Okay, now explain it to him. Hey, Bullwinkle, look at the address on the crate. To Congressman Drupalton Bun, Washington, D.C. Yes, fortunately for our Drupal heroes, an election was coming up for Congressman Political Bun, and he had ordered a shipment of soapboxes <laughs> to make speeches from. Hey, Congressman! Great green gravy. It's the missing scientists, and you're back in one piece. You were expecting maybe installments? Meanwhile, a short distance away, a familiar canoe was shooting down the Potomac. Stroke! 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 
Natasha, you poor little thing. You must be tired. Here, take megaphone. It's finally my turn to pedal. Has anyone made a canoe food. joke in the True. cartoon yet? What do you know? Like, We're I, I know how to roll a row boat. You said you'd canoe? Halfway. I did, I did. It's just your half was bigger than my half. You lucky kid. And the two spies made their way to a lonely dock where a solitary figure gazed out over the ocean. Oh, Captain Plopov. When leaves next submarine? <laughs> you didn't hear. Submarine is kaput. Well, that job is. You got orders from Central Control? You bet. They send these. What are they? Water wings. One of us must swim back. Swim? But who? Well, let's do things fair with square. We'll draw straws for it. Long straw gets to swim, okay? Okay, I'll take first one. Ooh, he's short. Natasha? Also short. <laughs> well, looks <laughs> like you're it, Captain. Have nice trip. And the unlucky Captain started on his 3,000-mile swim. Boris, darling, <laughs> weren't you afraid you'd lose? <laughs> Not as long as I have telescoping straw. Well, so let's buy boat ticket and go back home. Buy ticket and go back home? Natasha, where is your pride, your professional integrity? We steal tickets and go back home. Meanwhile, our heroes return to their laboratory in something less than triumph. Do you really think people are mad at us for losing the Mooseberry Bush Rock? Listen! Boo! Boo! Wait, what? <laughs> that sounds like feeding time at the zoo. There's <laughs> one of them! The cool stuff. Ooh, they give us everything but yeah. another chance. I just see a kitchen sink. What are we going to do? We just gotta think hard, Bullwinkle. Oh, there must be an easier way than that. And while our boys <laughs> pondered their problem, the two spies in another part of the city were all set to get their return boat tickets from the Transocean Travel Agency. <laughs> that was quick, darling. <laughs> of course. I always do business with Transocean. Come on. And the two spies hurried toward New York City where a huge liner was getting ready to sail. Don't miss our next exciting episode. Farewell, my ugly, or nuts to you. Farewell, my <laughs> ugly. <laughs> that took a weird turn. I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting that particular direction uh, for the show. Rocky and Bullwinkle. We, we watch Rocky and Bullwinkle every episode, and. They're usually the the most enjoyable part of the show. That was a that was kind really? of a, a flat episode. Not not much happened. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they guess they can't all be winners. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's so many episodes. Yeah, the uh, that should be the uh, uh, the tagline for this show. They can't mm -hmm. all be winners. Can all be winners. <laughs> yeah, we got we got eight people. Uh, but we have, but we do have fun. Yeah, so. we've got eight people in the chat now. Welcome, everybody. And uh, and bad morning uh, to those of you who yeah, just came Bad Saturday in. morning, everybody. Yeah, everybody say hello. Let us let us know who all is here. We're at uh, $20 in uh, donations. That's 20% of our $100 goal. The uh, PayPal donation uh, address is uh, on the bottom of the screen there. And uh, the uh, link, uh, the online link, uh, just came up in the uh, Twitch chat for those of you who are watching on Twitch. Um, so uh, please donate what you can. 50th Street Studio relies on donations from our from our viewers to uh, continue to do this every week. Um, and again, be sure to join me and and Mike. As it turns out, at 6 p.m. Pacific tonight, we'll be watching the Star Wars Holiday Special. And it, boy, is it special! It certainly <laughs> is special. And speaking of uh, Christmas specials, that's what we're going to watch uh, today. Mike has sent me some stuff that he tells me is some of the worst he's ever sent me. And I'm curious about what we've got here. Uh, he sent me something called the Christmas tree, which I've never seen or heard of. Um... So, and it's 45 minutes long. We're not going to watch all of it. I'll tell you that right now. But We can watch this. Like, I have it in parts. So okay. we could watch part yeah. part one, see if we want to go to part yeah. two. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh, boy. This is bad. Flammarion Ferreira Films. I don't know who that is. What year is this from? Uh, I believe it's 80. Oh, God. It could be anything. It certainly Some of those looks, things where it could be. Yeah, it yeah. looks 80s. 
Flammarion Ferreira. I've never heard of that uh, production company. Who are they, do you know? No idea. It's Flammarion Ferreira and Renato Almeida. 1991. 91. Mm -hmm. Music by Scott Broberg. Nels Christensen. Th these, these names sound like they're from all over the world. Just to give you an idea... IMDB rated this 1.3 yes, stars. Yes, there are many, many stories about this special holiday named Christmas. If you look in this book alone, you will find lots of them. Oh, yes, here we are. But we're going to watch this, this one instead. Story. Yeah. It's a delightful Christmas story. Everything happened somewhere far, far in the north in a small... This was shown place. on... USA Network Our story once. Takes place mm. in an orphanage once. With some children and a never shown. Uh, never shown the again. The orphan children lived under the control of the evil rules of a lady named Mrs. Mavilda. The little ones were always forced to do heavy work by the wicked woman. Mm -hmm. A wicked woman. The children never had toys, new clothes, or anything. They had a friend. The pine tree they named Mrs. Hopewell. Yes, Hopewell. They had a friend. The, kids believed the, tree. the tree was magical. N named Mrs. Somehow Hopewell. Somehow was going to bring them a mom yeah. and a dad to adopt and take them away from the unbearable Mrs. Mavilda. This looks Mrs. familiar. Was a I might have seen. Person. She didn't really take good care of the children, but she made people think she did. For example, she had a pretty dress with bows and lace and a new pair of pants and a sweater to put on whichever child she was going to show off <laughs> to the mayor. This wow. way, every the time mayor. the mayor came by, he always thought that Mrs. Mavilda was taking good care of That's what children. the mayor brings, but a sack of cash. And bags of money. Yeah. The townspeople yeah. for the orphanage, Mrs. Mavilda would immediately take oh. off the child's clothes while Whoa. in the closet <laughs> the mayor's next visit. <laughs> Four children. Once more, the victims of her numerous... Th this is... Uh, she this this hardly qualifies as animation. In an irresponsible way. I she know. would have her nasty friends over and gamble all night long. Her nasty friends. And drinking and she gambled with her friends. There goes the children's bread for the week. So says it's trying to be Bluth, but it's not that good. Every yeah. Time she played a hand. Yeah, you, you can tell Many times uh, the children went to characters that are evil because of the smoking and the gambling. Another. For example, yep. if she caught them sneaking in the street dog, whom the children named Licorice. Oh, she got trampled. Poor Licorice. He was a fine dog, but he was as abandoned as the children were. Uh-oh. Christmas, everybody. We're your best friends a tree. Yay. Run, dog, run. Well, let's begin our story now. Wait, I thought that already started. Yeah. I... Town, seeking a better life. Okay, so all of that was the backstory. Town recommended they yep. go to the city mayor for help. The mayor could just the tell the story and just have him it happen. A job at the lumber mill. But for a period of time, he would have to live in the boarding house without his family. Just have dialogue. The mayor also said that he would arrange for the man's wife and children to stay at the orphanage. Where they could get uh Oh, handmade tell. Oh, she could yeah. be Mrs. Mavilda's <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Oh, you. You come from the mayor's. I know, I know. <laughs> the, the voice acting is going to be really good come, on this one. Go now. We come from the, the mayor's. Yourself and the children, uh, Judy. The I will be back before Christmas. Don't worry, Ray. We're going to do just Golly, fine. I will you be back before. Too. Goodbye, children. Be good. Can we go now? Here is your room. This is the only thing I can do for you. This is just fine. Matt. This is awful. I can this is really I know. Old man <laughs> for the children, and we will be just fine. Oh, There's a caterpillar over there. Don't think your children are going to have special treatment here. They're going to stay with the other children and under the same rules and regulations. I'm sorry. Come, rules children. and regulations? Follow me. Another thing. You're like NATO? You have to get up at 7, prepare breakfast, feed the children at 8, then clean and wash. Don't forget dinner at 6 so the children will be in bed by 7.30. I don't want to see any children out of their bed. I repeat, no children walking this was around after This was recorded on a, you, like a, you like a handheld recorder in somebody's kitchen. You finish all your chores. But only half an hour and no more. The other children have to sleep, you know. I think they went around door to door and like said, "Hey, can we record you and we'll give you a free sample of 
uh, uh, toilet cleaner. <laughs> Watchtower magazine. Just say this stuff. Yes, yeah, say, mm. say this stuff. Yeah. Somebody joined us on Periscope. We've got 11 people. And unfortunately, these people came in during this. Yeah. They're like, oh no. Yeah. You're gonna be mighty Hell no. You get the same treatment as them. Remember that. Yeah, our our viewer on Periscope already left. More children. <laughs> you know, they could just rebel against her and tear her apart, you know. Yeah. yeah. These children staring at each other. <laughs> all oh, oh, that was not too. that was not oh, cool. Yeah. Wow. Oh, really? <laughs> what? All I want is to have it coming to me. All I want is my fair share. It's magic. Yeah, Aurora, that was creepy. This, I, I swear, I, I must have seen parts oh, of this before. There you are. Okay, Bobby, come it here. seems kind of rotoscope. Whoa! The looks on those kids' faces, man. Because I've seen this tree. I know I've seen this tree. Yeah. Over there, Mommy. Where? <laughs> Why are you guys giggling? The on the tree. That tree. <laughs> She takes what? Care of I can't understand and what the I'm kids are saying. Scared. I think about her branches like I'm holding me. Then it makes me feel better. Okay, I kid, wish that's I weird. I read so I could read her yeah. story from this old book that I found. I know she'd like it. I wish she could read stories to me. Someday, Mrs. Hopewell is going to bring us a mom and a dad to have a tree named Mrs. Hopewell. Life. Yeah. Licorice? Now, who's Licorice? Surely oh. the milkman or the dog? I thought the dog ran away. Oh, yeah, we had a dog? Yes. Yeah. Don't say that loud, Mommy. Mrs. Mavilda doesn't like him in here. Oops. Well, children, if Mrs. Oops. Mavilda doesn't want him in here, we shouldn't have him in here. I knew we should have You said this was on USA Network just mother. once? Once they probably delivered it, probably delivered it like an hour or two before, uh, before airtime. Like they didn't, they didn't watch it. Yeah. So it's kind of like the Star Wars right. Holiday Special. Right. <laughs> you can stay. I just have to pretend I don't know anything about you, big fella. But you need just a little something. Were we seeing the top edge of the, of the? Of, of the cell, the are, animation boy. cell there? I think so. Yeah, I think, I think so. we did. Look, licorice. Now the dog catcher isn't going to bother you anymore. Yeah, yeah make sure nobody knows about the dog. Let's go out in the yard and bathe him yeah. in, <laughs> in front of the world. I've got an idea. Let's make Mrs. Hopewell more fun to be around. Help me get that pile of wood around her. Give her a make a makeover. We'll turn her into books. Well, that's a nice thing to do. Cut wood around her. Yeah, this is... That's going to make her feel threatened. <laughs> this is a project that would take a couple of weeks. You know, hand-sawing it's like wood. Putting, it's, like, it's like covering people with, like, dead bodies. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> wow. Who built that? Me and... Let me tell you something here, girl. You don't have time for that kind of thing. You're here to do your work first. No, they, they did. Uh, very fast. I finished my work first. I did that on my spare You're right, time. Cherry. The floor was super washing? shiny. Yes. I noticed Ironing? it. Ironing? Yes. Yeah. And what about cleaning? Yes, the entire house, including the windows and waxing the floor. See? You may go yeah. now. So what power does she have, so the really? By, and they spent more time together. So this is their first day, I guess. Yeah. She reading naked lunch? Like what? <laughs> oh, there's lunch. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see, the, uh, the whole town was right there. They along. could see. She seems yeah. to be a fine woman. Judy learned about how important that tree was for the children. She seems to be children a fine woman. Been yeah. Been so Is her name Brandy? <laughs> they really developed a special <laughs> feeling towards Judy and a relationship of trust 
And so don't tell everybody that we have a dog. Mrs. Mavilda yeah, everybody sleep in a pile. From the mayor. Little <laughs> did he know that the money was destined to pursuits other than bettering the lives of the children. Maybe next time you do ACH thank deposit you, or something. Or... Okay, and so Judy's husband is living Mrs. Mavilda on at the sawmill. Uses the at the, money in, for her yeah. personal okay. leisure. Here goes the children's money again. <laughs> Says the story continues. <laughs> Time goes by. <laughs> What? <laughs> then the winter. Oh. Then Christmas time arrived. What the Yukon Cornelius was that all about? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Here goes the children's money again. Ha 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 ha. But she's not very good. She can't <laughs> win money. She right. Can lose money. So yeah, she plans so on she losing the money every week. If she doesn't play cards and lose so much she'd yeah. have a cash wad she could like leave and go to I've ibiza or something yeah. children's christmas i've got enough money here to get the children new clothes and still some left for their christmas presents here you go mrs mavilda here's the two bags one for the clothes, mavilda one yeah. for the presents i'm glad those poor little things aren't going to so have to booze spend and tobacco in patches and rags by the way where's judy Oh, Mrs. Kindle, good that you're here. I just gave Mrs. Mavilda the money there so she can buy new clothes. Is for he the a children. soundboard where Something people are just nice like yeah. pressing Christmas. buttons? I've been noticing that the children have become very fond of you, so I think you'd be the right. He's reading his lines like he was in high school and he did not understand that Mavilda when you have breaks. Nice clothes for the uh -oh. children. You know what they might like. What do you say? I'd be more than honored, Mr. Mayor. Take her out good. shopping. I gotta be going now. Good day, ladies. Thanks once again, Mr. Mayor. You have been very kind. Don't mention it. <laughs> I've gotta tell the children. That, that is a great news. idea. That the, the mayor brings bags of money every week. Frank? I am going to walk out the door now. Do you feel lucky tonight? <laughs> Do you feel lucky tonight? <laughs> Good, darling. Because we're gonna have Was a she game gonna shoot tonight. him? What? She's calling. Over eight she's calling an assassin. <laughs> I'll see you later then. <laughs> He's taking out a hit. And soon, we're all going to have new clothes. But remember, you should thank no, Mr. Not. Mayor for it. No, they're not. Oh, maybe Mr. if there's Mayor. some money left over, I can convince Mrs. Mavilda to buy some red velvet. That way, I can make some Christmas stockings to hang on the fireplace. Red velvet? For stockings? What's that? Don't you Shouldn't know that be for the Christmas Elvis picture? That you hang on the fireplace for Santa Claus to fill? Aurora, Don't. this is called the Christmas tree. Which one of you knows about Christmas? I do. It's, it's I about do. a tree, oh, gonna, apparently. I know you do, We're Pappy. getting schooled on Christmas, Christmas now? Yeah. Christmas, well, let me tell you about it. Christmas is a pretty and happy time of the year. A time when people get together. Friends with friends. Children with so, their parents Fourth of July. and grandparents. Yeah. All together, Memorial Day. People go out and buy their Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Saturday night. What's that? It's a tree that Christmas is hopeful. Like a tree? Yes, What's that? Like yeah. <laughs> yeah, Cherry, you're right. This, this animation does look like one of those CDI games. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's roll. I wouldn't be surprised if they had something to do with it. He's not anybody's grandpa. Maybe he is a grandpa, all right. Santa Claus is everybody's grandpa. And how can his sleigh fly? Because he has special reindeer to put, and each one has his own special name. That's right, children. Say, you know Santa. You're better off just praying to the great pumpkin make kids. A wish for Christmas. Really? Mrs. Mavilda never told us that. Well, it's true. But you know, you have to make a simple wish because Santa has to make toys and other presents for all the children of the world. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep it simple. <laughs> you gotta put all those microchips into the PlayStation 5s. Sure yeah, it's can, stuff, honey, man. But think hard before you do. Yeah, Cherry, my phone rang. Lost, I usually don't have a phone with me, but I I'll, wish I'll remember my not to have it with me. Had his other arm. How is Santa gonna do that? What, you chew it off? I always feel so sorry for him. See, Teddy, Santa is going to help you. How can you wish him for that? I want a bike. I want a brand new Yeah, with all the snow kid, that's going to help. In her hair. Wait a minute, children. You have to say Wait, 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 wait. How is Santa going to know which toy to bring to which one of you if you all wish at the same time? Now, let's do this one at a time. Santa has a really you, good Sarah, re you go prayer reception you thing, want, so he Santa can get every, they're queued up. Yeah, Miranda, you're right. 
T telling orphans that Santa will bring them whatever they want. That's a bad idea. That's right, Mavilda. Now you're cooking with gas. Now that I know all your wishes, <laughs> what's that about? Santa Claus a letter. But Mavilda losing all the money. But she's got out. That's what her intent was. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Why the green yeah, anchors poker, into the music in the background? Poker face. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Beat me. If she if she gambles with the same with the same idiot friends every week, then everyone will know where the money is. Wait, five five of a kind? Is that what that was? I think she was playing with the Queen of Hearts. Yeah. That really that really smarts. What a hangover. Oh no, she's here. I'm supposed to go shopping with Judy for some clothes for those orphans. And I lost the money. What should I tell her? I don't have to explain anything to her. Come in. Yeah, there you go. I'm ready, Mrs. Mavilda. <laughs> We're not going to go shopping anymore. What? Why not? Because I said so. But Mrs. Mavilda, I don't understand. The children are waiting for their new clothes. I already told them. There is nothing for you to understand. Just go back to work. <laughs> Wait, I hear the wow. children playing now. Are they outside? I want to tell you something, and you better listen. I don't want the children playing outside anymore. You better make sure of that. Because you don't want the mayor to see them without new clothes. How can you dare to? All right. Go now ahead, you know. fire her. And now that you know, you better make sure you don't tell him a thing. Or you and your children are out in the cold. <laughs> Now you won't get those children back inside. <laughs> but you don't get any money. Tell them the good news about the <laughs> you won't give you, you money if you throw the, the kids money. out. The money yeah. is gone. Now, just, just get out of here. You give me a headache. Poor little ones. I, I don't this know, Ivory. That doesn't. The voices hearts. don't sound familiar children, to me. Come here, please. No, Follow no, no. Children, there's, there's no voice you should ever hear you, ever but again. But I must tell you something. You know the new clothes. I, I think uh, Miss Mavilda well, and Judy are the same. Not going to be getting uh, person. I know, no. I know, but there's nothing Actually, I no. can do about it. They're not. I have something else. <laughs> Different to people. Say. Hmm. This is not Manos. Or the one guy does all the yeah. all the Mrs. voices. Mavilda no, no. Says so. Why? That's not fair, Mrs. Kendall. Mrs. Hopewell isn't going to understand that. She's going to think we don't like her anymore. Please oh, yeah. It's a tree. Yeah, just worry about me. the tree's feelings. I know how you feel. Tree's sitting there going, y'all want to stop talking about idea. me that way? I know who's really doing this. Hi, Ivory. Mother. This is called the Christmas tree. Mother. Judy can be really big trouble for me. She's starting to know too much. That's the She's second person that's asked the name of this of again, because you, you can't out. remember. I have to get that woman right. out of here. She's changing everything around here. I gotta get rid of her. The sheets. So, so at, I guess at the end of the of the, the show, the tree is going to come to life and dispense Especially some Christmas justice. Judy. He's grown. It's fond. an ant. <laughs> I know. What if I make that good girl into a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's going to ruin I'll Judy's reputation. Just like I didn't oh yeah. Work with me before. You know, <laughs> Emperor Palpatine but wasn't this, this evil. Time, I'd you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me call Mel for some help with this. Mel. I have a job for you. What do you want? What? Nellie Olson. Oh, wait a minute. I have this no. girl who's working for me now. <laughs> Mel, I gotta do something to get her out of here before it's too late. I told no. her you have a package for me. <laughs> I'm sending her over to pick it up. I know. I know you don't have anything to give. Don't you understand that it's only a pretext? <laughs> Shut up and listen and do as I say. Here's the plan. I want in this to backwards little town, the, 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 the town uh, the telephone that operator is listening in. For you with your fast finger, mm -hmm. should it, Mel? Oh, come on, Mel. Now listen carefully. Make a package. I'm going to tell her you'll have one ready to pick up. Anything. Put anything you want inside. We have to make everything look real. No, what's so worse, this or that Titanic cartoon? That, what should I do? Wait, you know what? That's where I think I saw police. this. I think I saw right. clips yeah. of this on that when same YouTube channel. Stealing, the that that has to be. Stop her and search the car. They'll find the missing item in her possession and bingo! Happening her. now. What are they talking She'll about? Make it back here. <laughs> and the mayor Let's grow in her reputation. When he hears that his favorite lady is a thief, well, he'll just flip. She'll automatically be thrown out of the house. That tree is still going to cause me a lot of trouble. <laughs> Why would a tree? What? <laughs> that, that tree. Those children are going to want to be playing out there. I would have gotten away with it, Especially too, if it hadn't been for that meddling tree. 
I gotta the tree get rid of it not have That's what I'm going to do <laughs> next. Anything to do with what's going on How right now. Can you come over and chop this tree down? Good. <laughs> we'll see you after Christmas then. Soon I'll have those children back under my roof, just like before. And the little dog too. I know. Plenty of new wood. Old girl. Sometimes I don't realize. There's no idea. Little girl has just been there the whole time. Yeah. Poor Mrs. Hopewell. What? Wow. Cartoon special effects. Hanna I have to tell Mrs. Here's the address that you have to go to. Look for Mr. Mel. You know, of all these kids, one of them can send her to the cornfield. Oh, no. There's got to be at least one. Let me say goodbye to the children. No, no, no. There's no time for that. You must go now. Here is your coat and your car keys. Mrs. Kendall? One I need key. To tell you something. Not now. She has to go. Can you tell me when I get back? No. I got to tell you now. She doesn't have the time now. Whatever it is, just tell me. Yes, tell Mrs. Mavilda. She can help you. Mrs. Mavilda is really green. Is she a well, Vulcan or something? Or? <laughs> Say goodbye to the little ones for me. See you before Christmas. Okay, we're coming up on the end of the first half here, and I actually want to know what's going to happen. You really want to know? What is it that you need to tell? I, I, I don't, I forget. Are you sure? Tell me, little girl. Were you up there a while ago? I forget. <laughs> you forgot? Oh, okay. yeah, I forget. You may go now. Go yes, on. Cherry. Titanic 2 with the octopus. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. There only the, were an octopus here. The the evil the evil synth mm -hmm. music. There. <laughs> okay. So the option's there to continue with part part two. I broke it up. Well, let's let's case. let's watch the second half next week. I actually want to see the second okay, half. Okay, good. Now. Good. Um good. Yeah. Cliffhangers. I, I, yeah, I do want to see what's going to happen next week. That that went by surprisingly quickly. I thought it was going to going to drag by, but it was so outrageously bad. It was. Uh, yep. <laughs> it was actually somewhat fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ivory is thinking she sounds like Mary Jo Peel. She does. the The voice does have that kind of. M MJ is like yeah. one of the best things about MST three K. Yeah. But there's no way she was within a country mile of doing this movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was busy working on MST3K in 1991. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, uh, she took over. She took over Magic Voice for a long, to long time too before she. Okay. Went in front of the camera. Okay. Um, Mike also sent the Smurfs Christmas special, which I don't even want to watch at all. Uh, let's. <laughs> let's. Okay. Yeah, I don't even want to. But let's look at the. Let's look at the opening of it anyway. Uh, just to kill a little bit of time. So now we know the Smurfs are Christians, I guess? I, yeah, I guess. Born again? If you consider Smurf Christmas again? to be Christian. <laughs> well, unfortunately, it's going to turn into that, yeah. Yeah. Maybe they'll be, it'll be more of a pagan one. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh God. Oh. Yeah, get it out of your head now. Ow! 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 What year is this from? Oh, 1980. Who gives a crap? I think. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. I think the Smurfs were big in the late 70s, early 80s. It was the 80s. Smurfs were not yeah. in the 70s. Well, originally I think they were, uh, but not a country. not 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 an American animation, no. Yeah, they were in, they were in France, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 1982. 82. Oh my goodness, do we who do we have doing voices in this? June Foray, of course. Don Messick. Rene Abagenois. Really in the Smurfs? In yep. Oh God. Anymore. <laughs> Wanna hear my solo I did not know that Smurfette was voiced by Lucille Bliss. I don't know who that is. She was in Cinderella. She played Anastasia, one of the evil step children. Okay. 
she was in. Actually, she played. She played the stepsister, one of the evil stepsisters. So you're talking about Disney's Cinderella? Yes. Yes. No kidding. Yep. So she was also. Go ahead. So this was 30 years later. Yeah. Wow. Um, she was also in The Secret of Nim. Okay. She played the farmer's wife. Okay. She, she, yeah, she had passed away about eight years years ago, but what an amazing career she had. Yeah. I know, Cinderella's fun, but I do prefer Sleeping Beauty, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Iceman came in. This is the Smurf who Smurfs Iceman, Christmas. Ice. Yep. This may be the best holiday celebration we've ever had. And what would the Smurfs be like if Quentin Tarantino directed them? <laughs> Amazing. There, there would be these really tense dialogue scenes that would go on for 20 minutes. Are they related to uh, Little Orphan Annie? The dot eyes? Oh, boy. Another when I was a oh, little boy story. Uh, uh. Oh no, Gargamel. Oh, mm. Yep. But Christmas I despise most of all. Just think of those miserable blue Smurfs out there, making their little presents, exuding all their yuck, love and good cheer. And Paul Winchell it. doing I the voice of Gargamel. Paul Winchell. Yeah. Yep. A legend. To turn you into a rug that I can. What's this? Mother's old recipe. Turn you into a rug. Miserable. I think what was what would Tigger be his most famous voice? Tigger, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What was that what was that name of that ventriloquist dummy that he started out with? Was it to uh, I don't remember. Jerry Mahoney yeah. or something? So, sounds about right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he started out as a ventriloquist. Not yet, greedy. Just making sure yep, was ready. you're absolutely 100% correct. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm going to move on. I'm not interested in the Smurfs. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Smurf this. Yeah, Smurf this. <laughs> let's look at the, the He-Man and She-Ra Christmas special. It's a happy time for us, dear They started out with a happy birthday song, Just didn't they? Huh. This will be the first time the twins are together <laughs> to celebrate their birthday with all our family. And Lou saving some money Adorous again. Even yeah. from far off Etheria, and they're all helping to decorate. Uh, could we invent pants, maybe? Oh, there's <laughs> guys wearing pants. Yeah. Oh, Perfuma, thank you. They're beautiful. <laughs> I guess, I guess for the kids who were fans of this at the time. How's this? Oh, mind blown. There were minds blown all over. Yeah, th this is, must have been like a, an amazing crossover. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think purple would look good up there, Pika Blue. Not Try since it. when the $6 million man and the Bionic Woman shared the screen. Yeah. What a celebration. Preparations have been going this guy's on for days. costume design is the dumbest you know, it thing. It reminds me of how we uh. used to get ready for Christmas at this time of year. Christmas? What's that? An Earth holiday? A Another one who doesn't know. Wait a minute. Holiday. Okay, hang on. So the I Queen of Etheria is an Earth woman? Is that is that the deal? Something like that, yeah. I assume that's He Man's mom, right? Uh, uh, uh. I, I, I don't know. I don't know anything about this. I forget. We're almost finished here. You know, if it works, this little sky spy will give us a complete picture of Skeletor's every move. Hmm, surveillance. Hey, Electronic Take surveillance. Orko, that's his name. Okay. Uh, but, but how do I get inside? How many hours a day did Lou Scheimer spend recording voices for these cartoons? It must have been hours and hours. Yeah. All right, Adam, I think we're in good shape for tomorrow's flight. This is almost 35 years old now. Yeah. It's amazing. Christmas Day, 1985. What happened? 
I do? Switch off the rockets. <laughs> Ivory says he must have been inspired by Mel Blanc. Actually, he was inspired by his pocketbook. Lou Scheimer yeah. was the owner of the company. He was doing it to save yeah. money. He's, he's the voice of Orko and of He-Man himself. So there was one lever that launched the rocket. It's Ooh. that one lever that does everything. Wow. <laughs> nice sparkles, man. <laughs> get this get this music. <laughs> this sounds like it was inspired by the Star Wars disco. <laughs> it, no, really. Yeah, it does. Ship, what is it? Uh, uh, All the great Alan Oppenheimer. You better have your eyes checked, you lame brain. That's yeah, Shimer you, too. Motor mouth. Enough, mm -hmm. too bad. Get that ship before it escapes, or I'll put both your heads in orbit. Skeletor <laughs> was fantastic. What a great <laughs> villain he was. Yes, sir, Skeletor. <laughs> right. It's the what? I heard it. What's it's happening? the collector. The sky spy mm. suddenly took off him. by itself. Look, Skeletor's going after the sky spy. Then he made. Well, there's a funny story I heard about um, Alan Oppenheimer, who does the voice of Skelet oh. Skeletor, and that he never did the Skeletor voice outside of the studio yeah. in real life. Mm -hmm. He was in Brazil uh -huh. in a cab. And yeah. he decided to answer a question the cab driver had to hit out for him yeah. in Skeletor's voice. Yeah. And the guy flipped out. The driver was like, I have Skeletor in my back seat. <laughs> it. Scoop it up. He's like, he never thought that that would be something that he would have happen. If he was like, yeah. just do the Skeletor's voice in Brazil. <laughs> Basically, it was Skeletor and Star Star Scream. Great, yeah. Oh, no. You know what? These claws need a manicure. That was a knee slapper, He Man. He Man. Quiet, you'll hear us. Finally, he doesn't use that sword that often, you know, there when you think, think about it. Claws to paws. Use the paws what? Don't claws to paws? Right what? Yes, Master. So when does He-Man go on the Crusades again? <laughs> A force belt, huh? <laughs> wow, this, this is terrible. Up, it's terrible animation. But the filmation, of course. As usual. Sister? Yeah. Of course, the unicorn is flying at Mach 6 or whatever they're... Yeah. Ready? One, two... The puncher? Oh. Yeah, it looked like he was facing her, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta admit, Shira was hot back, guy. back, back in the day. Oh, I spell? Well, she still is. I, I mean, spies, yeah. Guys, spies. Take me down the new one, side. not so much. Oh, no. now what did I do? oh, did Oracle make it worse? What a surprise. Yeah, because, yeah, who would have thought. Okay, they're, they're... The horse and the hover bike were just we're just waiting for them. Yep. All those voices are Lou Shimer. Yep. And take this. I don't need any parachute. That's what you think. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go by he he voices one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Distinct. Well, not distinct, as we can tell. Yeah. But 11. Mm -hmm. Orko, King Randor, Swift Wind, Spike Horror, Too Bad, Moduluk, Cal, Rattalore, Horde Prime, Father, yeah. and Multi-Mind. 
Not the answer box, but multi-bot. <laughs> the answer I'm box. I'm afraid we've lost your Sky Spy. <laughs> well, it's a good thing nobody's in it. I'm after you incorporate answer box thing. into my screen. <laughs> nobody even knows it's a good thing nobody's in it. Orko's in it. Yep. Like I said, nobody. Nope, nobody's there. Yeah. That's an accurate, accurate statement. I can't understand how the ship nice just screen. took off by itself. Maybe this finder beam can locate it. <laughs> Is he part like like a uh, Jawa or something? I, I don't know. He's just I just, just poorly designed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Is he? Is Orko gonna accidentally discover Christmas on, on this planet? AKA like Jack, like Jack Skellington. Yeah. Okay. He did a lot of flipping in the air. We get it. I guess I should have fastened my seatbelt. He had a mouth there for a second. You think so? Oh, oh my gosh, Th they'll be buried by that avalanche. Oh, what spell can I use? Uh, uh, oh, little children. I'm they were yelling help I before the avalanche again. started. Please work. Okay, this is a deep cut. Are you ready? Are you ready for this one? Okay. The voice of the little boy, Miguel, uh -huh. is voiced by R. D. Rob. Okay. R.D. Robb was in a Christmas story. He played Schwartz. No, 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 don't say that. Okay. He was I, the, the little kid that had the long hat no, that, you know, uncle, uncle. Okay, uncle, uncle. Okay. And, and what are you doing the one that got it, got the crap anyway. beaten out of him. Okay. When, tree? when the mom the called his mom and said that yeah, he had right. said the F word. Right. Schwartz. Yep. Oh, there. Is he on Earth? Did he crash on Earth? Whoa, yeah, nice. I'm the one who's lost. My ship crashed just over that hill. Come on, I'll show you. And maybe we can find a way to get you safe. Wait, is this a story out. being told by the dude in the sleigh ride? Duncan, Adam, we've got About a He-Man? What is it? It's Orko. He's missing. Or was missing? that the Smurfs? And we just found his magic book outside. <laughs> Lost track of my yeah. crappy cartoons. There's a launch pad. <laughs> Launch pad. Uh oh, he must have stowed away on the You know what? He's got a, He's got yes, the biggest hair underneath that head helmet. We've got to find it. <laughs> uh, what's that? It's a flying saucer. He's kind of like uh, Kyle, yeah, you know, from South Park. Spot. It's gonna go on, poof. Around. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's got a bright so orange afro. A, a yep. <laughs> what's that? First of all, it's a Christmas. No, I mean it's not a Christmas tree. It's a Christmas tree, and it's to celebrate Christmas. What's he is on Earth. Everybody knows what Christmas is. I don't. When you get lots of presents. Presents? <laughs> I think I like Christmas. Well, presents are part of it. But it's also a time when everybody the thinks hand about gestures. peace and goodwill toward the poli men. They're poli That's politicians. The angel, yeah. angel? Now I'm really getting confused. No, it's I not know. So, same, not same here, Orgoko. Orgo really Orko is all of us. We'll yeah. tell you the whole story. A long I've got it. Yeah, don't we'll skip the ahead. Sky yeah, when when you get to the part Those about Christ, <laughs> yep. skip ahead. Are you saying that we'll yep. never get Orko back? No, Tila. My transport beam might do it. The problem uh -oh. is it needs a carrium water crystal to power it, and there are none. Oh, a quest! Journey. A quest! Maybe on the uh, It's possible. Well, if it's in the water, her Mister would know about it. If it's Can in the you water. Have a contactor? I think that can be arranged. Hey, are your powers fa fabulous, or are they just fine? Follow the star <laughs> until they finally reach Bethlehem. Ah, oh, what a beautiful story. But what about the gifts? You said there were gifts at Christmas. That's the fun part. Let's tell them about Santa Claus. Yeah, Cherry <laughs> says that wait, he means real name is Adam. In the cartoon, it was anyway. The guy who invented sure He-Man, he, he didn't no, write any backstories for the characters. He was really unhappy here. with this cartoon. 
about He-Man having yeah. a secret identity well, and sure wearing uh, wearing pink sister. and ha- having a, a wimpy a wimpy voice. He created them to be. Um, wow. She goes from being hot to slightly hotter. <laughs> she. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she has this great disco theme song. I've never heard this before. <laughs> oh, that's great. Da, 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 da. My wife grew up loving Shira. I never watched it. Wow! She has the chorus yeah. and everything. Oh, see, her name came up on the screen. <laughs> Anyway, the guy who created He-Man and, and all these characters, he created them to be an alternative to what he considered these wimpy action figures and, and specifically Barbie. And so he designed them to be the most ridiculously jacked up uh, He-Man characters. And he ended up naming it He-Man just because he couldn't think of anything better than just, than just He-Man. And then when they... When, go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead. When they franchised it out to the... Uh, to filmation and filmation yes. created all these secret identities and backstories. He was like, "What?" But it will not be easy. <laughs> when you when you look at the early the early art for the toys before the cartoon came out, He Man looks much more like a Conan type character. He's much more sad. That's what I thought it was based on. That's what I thought. Yeah. That, I don't know if it's an urban legend or not, but the idea was that they were going to have action figures for Conan the Barbarian. Oh, really? And basically, that's Arnold Schwarzenegger. They had this, mm. you know, this form, and they went, oh, wait a minute. It's an R-rated movie where people get getting killed. Kids mm. are not going to see this movie. So let's take those molds of Arnold Schwarzenegger's phys- physique mm. and turn it into action figures. And they just repeated the same mold over and over and over mm. again just doing a skin replacement you know mm-hmm. um, but there is a really good documentary on net Netflix yeah. and that covers mm-hmm. every toy line like Barbie Smurfs mm-hmm. Rainbow mm-hmm. Bright all that stuff mm-hmm. and He-Man's one of them and a lot of the stuff that you covered Keith is yeah. in that so if yeah. you have Netflix definitely give that a watch I can't remember what it's called though yeah if I remember correctly there's over the decades there's been a huge legal fight over who actually created He-Man Mm-hmm. So, from what you're telling me, it sounds like a whole bunch of different things came together all at one time. So, someone's home. The Beast Monster. The Beast Monster. That's that's the name you came up. So generic. Yeah. The the Beast Monster thing monster. Think of the jiggy. Oh, he tripped. It's oh. called the toys that made us. The toys, the that, toys made that made us. us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've I've Nicholas. seen I've seen an episode where they talk about the Star Wars toys. It was really interesting. Yep. It was more interesting than I expected. Yep. I always yep. thought Season that one. I always it was the Star Wars toys that introduced those those two and a half inch tall action figures. Mm-hmm. And I always thought, yep. hey, thanks for the follow, Iceman. I always assumed that that was. That that innovation happened because of, uh, um, um, out of um, out of cheapness, out of out of money concerns. But did the horse just talk? I don't know. But it don't the, the horse just talk? Well, I mean, you know. Yeah, the horse. That's weird. That's the voice of the horse. Yeah, Blue Charmer does the voice. But uh, but apparently, what the reason the Star Wars action figures are so small is because the people who designed the toy line and, and of course this was before the movie came out and they were they were basing it on the script that they had been given they they correctly after reading the script they correctly decided that the vehicles were more important so they needed to design the action figures small enough so they could make the, the vehicles again small wow. enough that, that they could be handled uh, by the kids. So they were smart. Yeah. Yeah, so the uh, the toys that made us season one as cover Star Wars, Barbie, He-Man, and G.I. Joe. Okay. 
And then season two is Star Trek, Transformers, Lego, and Hello Kitty. <laughs> Hello Kitty. And then season three is uh, Turtles, Power Rangers, My Little dangerous. Pony, and then Professional Wrestling. They're called the Monsters. Professional Wrestling. Our little friends, the mm -hmm. Manchines, once told me about them. The Manchines? <laughs> Our friends, the Manchines. Oh, is he transforming? The trans they're Transformers. That's not more than meets the eye. That's non like, oh. The non-humanoid Transformers. Mm -hmm. Not even go, not even go bots. Like more mm -hmm. than that. I'm afraid like, we haven't seen below. the last of these evil things. Now, let's get out of here. Sword. To Wait, play. you could have gotten out immediately. Better stand back, Swifty. It's going to get a little warm. The horse's name is Swifty. Is that? It's a good thing that. Oh, she did a roundhouse kick. Swift wins. <laughs> but she calls okay, it Swifty. It's, Swifty. it's a good thing that energy bubble was made out of plastic. Oh, she polymers. Just, if the crystal yeah. works. We'll need help from Orko. I hope he remembers to stand in the light. <laughs> it's working. Was he now was he modeled after Orko. Walter Brennan? Yeah, Branch and Bay agrees. Oh, so Christmas sucked because of the songs. Yeah, the, and yeah, and and they were they just said jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. That you're singing it wrong, kids. Yeah, you're telling the alien wrong information. I think I know what it is. I hope. All we have to do is hold hands and move over there. Oh, he's gonna transport the kids too. You probably know the lyrics to these to these songs. There was that one. Mexican Christmas movie called Santa Claus yeah. versus the Devil. Right. Have you ever seen that? I've seen it. Yeah. And he, he, did, he didn't, he Santa is. didn't know the lyrics to Silent oh, Night. There <laughs> they like, are. La, 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 la. It's like, you know, that's like the, the greatest Christmas song ever. <laughs> Who are your friends? Okay, so Orko the brought these Earth kids to We're so glad you're Eternia or We're wherever the hell they are. It's a long story. Gets us better than Detroit. I got into the sky spot. <laughs> Ah. Yeah, whoa. What's this? What the hell is this? It's a nightclub. There is a great disturbance. A new the force? Of goodness has arrived on a What in the world is this? The power of Poet Prime may be threatened. Send for Skeletor and Hornak immediately. So is that Skeletor's so master? Is it? Well, I oh. can't believe it. <laughs> Skeletor has you a really crash landed on Earth. Will we be home in time for Christmas? I'm not sure. <laughs> so, Do they know I'm what's Christmas? Sure. I'm, I'm not sure, kids. Yeah, so I'm not sure. I can neither confirm nor deny Christmas. that, kids, but I know the answer. I've got an idea. <laughs> Christmas isn't for <laughs> And the boy's like, I want to stay here where all these hot ladies. It's tomorrow. Yeah. Why don't we combine their birthday celebration? There are only four big, women on the planet, but Christmas still. Party. That would be fine. But what about Santa? Will he oh, be there is one us? woman on the oh, bad side. Evil Lynn? Yeah. Don't yeah. Worry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's one woman Who's on Santa? the bad guys. Oh, mm -hmm. Santa? You don't know who Santa is? I can't believe it. <laughs> Evil Lynn, Everybody yeah. Knows who Santa you, of course, have seen the, uh, um, the robot chicken thing with the... Skeletor, Skeletor says to her, "Wait, your name is Evil Lynn? I always thought your name was just Evelyn." Yeah. <laughs> it's just Titan AE all, all of a sudden. Have no fear, Great Master. Well, Skeletor is actually <laughs> he's actually peeing his pants right now. Yeah. I mean, they must work out like crazy. Yeah. Rip, man. Just a minute. What about the way He-Man handles you, Bone Brain? Ooh, bone brain. ooh, yuck. Bone Brain? Hey, that's his word. You can't use his word. Silence! <laughs> Silence! <laughs> Silence! Manos has made me permanent! <laughs> that's me! We'll see about that. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> that's me? I have no idea what's going on, and well, I'll see. Um, there's like here on no, and here is nice, um, but they're sitting in it. Wait, what is this rainbow oh, owl thing? That's, that's some, that's some Shira. And yeah. until then, I'll make it that's uh, what's it? My wife would know this. 
Um, Wait, what's with this super tall strawberry shortcake character? Christmas is in the winter. Winter? Oh, no sooner said than done. <laughs> Must she sing everything? We think your show is fabulous. We've got just the right setting for my new Christmas song. Let's try it. Okay, that that's it. That's enough. I'm I'm putting a stop to this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's enough of the He-Man She-Ra thing. This one is 45 minutes long too, and we just watched half of it. Oh wow! I think I think that's enough. Okay, we're gonna close out the show. Um, thank you for sticking with us, uh, everybody. By the way. Oh um, yeah. Uh, yeah, Miranda, she just added flowers to the snow. Um, we're going to uh, uh, close out with uh, uh, a half-hour show called uh, A Cosmic Christmas. I was telling Mike about it yesterday by Nelvana. Nelvana! The Nelvana, same people yay. who produced um, the uh, Intergalactic Thanksgiving that we watched a couple of weeks ago, which was quite good. And? This... And? And... Rock and roll. Did they also do? Did they also do uh, these the animation part for the Star Wars holiday special? Oh yes, they did. Was that yes. Nel Nelvana? Yeah. So we'll yeah. see more from Nelvana uh, later tonight. But this was just cross promo thing. A yeah, Cosmic just, Christmas yeah. was made in 1977. It was a year before the Star Wars Christmas special. Two years before the Intergalactic Thanksgiving, and it's much more crude. Um, so it's not going to be as good as Intergalactic Thanksgiving. But I actually saw a Cosmic Christmas. Um. When uh, when it was broadcast on uh, network television, I and I vividly remembered it. Um, uh, by the way, uh, we are uh, taking uh, donations here at Fifty Street Studio. The uh, PayPal uh, PayPal address is on screen below me here, and uh, we are at twenty twenty dollars, I think. It's uh, twenty dollars toward a hundred dollar goal, so we're twenty percent there. Uh, link uh, online link. Uh, came up in the uh, Twitch chat there. We've got, uh, excuse me, 10 people. Uh, 10 people in the chat. We've got uh, 9 people uh, watching on Twitch and a person watching on Periscope. Uh, welcome, whoever you are. Please say hello and let us know how you found us. Uh, we're going to close out uh, this week's episode, as I was saying, with uh, a show from 1977 by Nelvana called A Cosmic Christmas. So let's get on with it. If you've never seen this before, it'll be it'll be really interesting. Prepare for landing. Prepare for landing. Earth Day, December twenty fourth. So, do we need a cosmic Christmas right this very minute? Yes. <laughs> Did Nelvana do some uh, animation for Sesame Street? They might have. There you are. Come on, Lucy. Let's go. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Help the unfortunate. How's it going, Santa Joe? Not so far. Santa Pete. Joe. Well, Merry Christmas anyway. Help the unfortunate. Ding. Help Get to the unfortunate. The needy. What are you, some Dumbo? Get to the needy, sir. Merry Christmas, kids. Help the unfortunate. Hey, man, what do you mean, help the unfortunate? We are the unfortunate. Yeah, right on. Hey, come on, what do you Get want to about? Unfortunate. Get to the unfortunate. Okay, these are seriously bad kids. <laughs> <laughs> The three three wise men come from Pepperland. Yes. <laughs> it moved. <laughs> the tall hats. It moved again. Look, everybody. Look at the light in the sky. I saw it move. Gee, Snurk. Excuse me. I just saw a spaceship up there. Uh, where? Up there in the sky. Can't you see it? Cute. Very cute. A light in the sky. 
Uh, isn't your mother calling you? But I saw it. <laughs> it's up there. It is so there. Look, it's a spaceship. Hey, I think I remember this dear. mostly by the I goose. I see it. You do? Yeah, like the sure. goose is kind of like the, the space balls at you. What's Better triggering my memory out. about <laughs> the look at this? Uh -huh. Wow, that's quite guys, good with that. I really did see it. Sure you did, Peter. Sure. Look, Peter, I'm a Martian. See? I'm green. And I'm gonna eat you. And this is my flying saucer. <laughs> brum, brum, brum. Else. Nice banana see seed. Peter, maybe Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer flying around with Santa Claus. Woo! Yeah, and I'm the good fairy. Get up! He just made an enemy. Duncan Rieger it does a voice in this? Me, I'm looking forward to that. Look, Duncan Rieger, if anybody knows, uh, he played Dracula in the Monster Squad hmm. uh, movie. Okay. Yep. Oh, the movie. Okay. Yeah, the, the live, live action one. Yeah, which I've not but seen. But that, that's... That's underrated. I think that's that's, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a good '80s kids movie, but it's got some great production values in it. Like the the makeup is really good. In fact, uh, Stan Winston did a lot of work on that movie. Is Keanu Reeves going to come out of that? <laughs> and I hope, I hope, I hope. Rufus will come out. Uh, it's Mock. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Miranda, I know you wish this would happen to you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Peter. That's Lucy. I live here, over there. I, I guess you don't understand me. Do not be afraid, uh, no, okay, young you man. That is not so. We are equipped to identify, comprehend, and speak all languages known. Hello, how do you do? Even jive? I am <laughs> fine. Oh. I'm fine too, I I guess. like that touch of him saying, Lucy, hello, how do you do, I am fine. Our scientists have recently detected <laughs> 2,000 years ago Earth And I always appreciated how the alien these guys looked. Mervin, a mm -hmm. transitory celestial like how they move, yeah. yeah. Of the Merbundian class. Like they're not quite completely in uh, our space-time continuum. What yeah. Utox is trying to say is that in the heavens visible to many worlds, there appeared for a brief time a great star which manifests itself in the heavens. Oh, you must mean the Star of Bethlehem. Star of Bethlehem? Yeah, we that took the wrong no turn in meaning. Albuquerque. Well, let's, let's go Our back. Our mission is to search for the meaning of that star. <laughs> you must be <laughs> Christmas. You shouldn't have take that, taken that left turn at Nazareth. Christmas? Yeah. Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. What is Christmas? How do we measure Oh, another person it? doesn't know. You don't. Hmm. The star that you saw. It's like saying, what is Velcro? Bethlehem because Jesus Christ was born there. 
He was very special. It's really rare this is his for we celebrate it every year a, with a, love, a peace, television Christmas special others. to actually talk about Jesus. Then that yeah. is what we've come. For. Some have alluded to well, it, but not necessarily on. like we'll show you. you know. Yeah, like Santa Claus is coming to town from Rankin Bass. It kind of touches on it a little bit I, when they were trying to Mr. pick a day. Hmm. He always puts Christmas in his window. Wow, that's a lot of merchandise. Wow. Hey, George, did you hear about the alien invasion? Edna said a UFO landed outside of town. Oh, sure. Sounds like a publicity stunt to me. I'll bet it's that new store trying to steal my business. Some people will do anything. Yeah, George. I see what you mean. I'm <laughs> good. Whoa. Is this love, Peter? Uh, Tommy. Call me Tommy77 came in. Welcome. This Hello. How'd you find us? Keep snark and the mayor know all about Christmas. Hello. Don't tell me. You want to report a spaceship. That's the sixth call. Has everybody gone nuts? As mayor of this town, I say... I, I say... Keep calm! Hello. Everybody! You've got little green men in your pantry. Just keep... Are you sure yeah, brute. it's not bad? It did say brute. Calm! <laughs> How many men have you got on duty tonight? Just yours truly. I gave Bart. Oh, it's all over his hand. Thank you for the follow, Tommy. Is yeah, thanks. This Christmas, Peter. I hope Christmas, you like it here. Christmas! Call him back! Hey, no, no, better not. Don't want to start a panic. We better go check this out ourselves. Right. You go, I'll stay here. Yes, sir. Let me if they come here. Uh... You come here? Why would they come here? Uh Right, I'll come with you. <laughs> yeah, you know, the whole take me to your leader thing. Peace, Peter? <laughs> Is this peace? <laughs> oh, these kids. Same as usual. Nothing. Jeez, that's too bad. Like, we're having a caviar and pheasant under glass. Yeah, and pate the Foie gras and roast goose and hang on. And gravity? <laughs> Say, ready to foie gras? No, no. Roast goose. Uh oh. I wouldn't mind oh, having of course. that. Is this caring for others? It's all right, Lucy. They're only kidding. <laughs> Assault. You got a friend in yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking the, the same thing. It was a clumsy moment for a musical number. What is this thing? Like it can change its shape. Somehow this thing it knows all the the vaudeville and Broadway moves, you know, the top hat and everything. And now a commercial. And now we're back. Yeah. Well, there's one more place I can take you. How's the tree coming, Martha? Ready, dear. The tree? Oh, that's kind of kind of cool. I mean, they could have put a little money on a tree. Mm -hmm. you finished yet, Granny? Almost, Walter. Be patient. You don't have to make things anymore, Grandma. You buy them. You don't buy Christmas, Martha. Especially for. Oh children. yes, you do. Where is Peter anyway? You don't think he went looking for that flying saucer thing, do you? Lance. Yeah, that's exactly what I think he did. That's what for kids all want to do, Space man. <laughs> what nonsense. Hi, everybody. She made that? Guess what? Yeah. We've got wow. visitors for Christmas. They're strangers in town. Strangers? Tonight? 
Peter. Stranger danger. I told you a thousand times not to stop, talk. Stop bringing strangers to the house. Yep. <laughs> Hello. How do you do? Stop be bringing extra dimensional beings to our house. Our mission. <laughs> Hello, is how do you do? I am fine. We intend no harm. Donde es la biblioteca? <laughs> Donde está la biblioteca? Donde está Casa de Pepe? I just don't understand. Donde está el baño? <laughs> my, my. Men from Mars. Come in, come in. It's always Mars. Come, Mars is so much less interesting than Venus yeah. right, right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Peter, we'll need some more wood. Come on, Lucy. You two outside. Venus, Venus is like the like the really nerdy girl that, you know, like, and she's all that. Then when yeah. she takes off her glasses and puts on some makeup, she's the hot one. <laughs> Compared to Mars <laughs> right now. Yeah, Miranda, Grandma's feeling it. So was this was this kid with the, the switchblade comb? Was he actually a real threat to this goose? Oh my! When I was a young girl, Christmas was the happiest time of the year for everyone. Oh, when she was a young young girl. Yeah. My father would search for a tree in the forest and bring it home to us. That's probably what Tippy Hedren looks like right now. I guess. It would touch the ceiling. We um made all our decorations in those days: stringing popcorn. Tying little red bows on the limbs of the tree. Oh, goodness gracious, it was so beautiful. You mean like this? So the aliens are, are like, so you celebrate by killing trees? Not Mrs. Hope Hopewell. <laughs> yeah, not Mrs. Hopewell. <laughs> I want a Christmas cartoon crossover. Uh, no one's freaking out right right now. Yeah. Really? Dare I say it's kind of preternatural? Just a little bit? Yeah. Oh, so, so the aliens have got Christmas decorations figured out. They've, they've got mm -hmm. that part. Yeah. It's a holodeck program. Silver <laughs> star. The very top. Turns out their radioactive mail have furnace, cancer. The end. <laughs> we're spread over the mantle of the fireplace. <laughs> Bug? <laughs> so he's not. Okay, so he's not conjuring these things out of thin air. He's teleporting them from other places. Cakes and puddings. There are people all over town going, Hey, where's our gingerbread men? Enough for everyone. The way that Christmas used to be. Do they get bags of money, too? <laughs> yeah, right, Miranda. She's, and then a million dollars under the tree. It's all gone because of a goose. Oh, he did. He did steal the goose. Okay, space aliens, time to leap into action. Yep. Ole! <laughs> Brought their pitch, pitchforks, and hockey sticks. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> this is hockey sticks. definitely a Canadian production. Right, right. <laughs> this is a Canadian mob. Of course they have ears. He come. Were Bob and Doug McKenzie not available? Yeah. So am I. One, did they leave their um? Two, did they leave their car alarm on? The disintegration beam. <laughs> Someone called Dr. Clayton Forrester. <laughs> <laughs> Ivory says it looks a bit like rock and roll. The same people. 
Same yep. same company did it. That's a great movie. It's the, the mayor's movie that, that people go. Go ahead. Movie that people go what? Like go like heavy metal what? Yeah. Like once you see rock, 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 rock and roll, you're like heavy metal is so much yeah. beneath it. Um, so the mayor's hair is turning into some sort of protoplasmic tentacles. As is, you know, end up in Canada. Oh, Miranda says the police head that she's into. I, yeah, I was going to point that out. Oh, oh, yikes, that's bad. Someone save Harry, Harry Bailey. Help you, George. Help, help, George. Falling through the ice that far away from shore is bad. It, it's, yeah, it's, no, it's no joking matter. Oh, Jesus, a drowning scene, a full on drowning scene. Aliens, could you help, please? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, yes, not. Oh, everybody's going. Oh, the goose help let, let go. Help us. Yeah, the flying alien is just comedy relief, Miranda. He's, he's... Yeah. No use whatsoever. Okay, hypothermia would set in already and be like, yeah. we're free! Everybody yeah. Just keep calm. <laughs> you are the chain. But as useful as the mayor from A Nightmare Before Christmas. We need more people! Are you there? Come on, help! He is calling us. He said help! What is help? help? Really? Help? Yeah. <laughs> get out. Get out your dictionary. A Udeme. Possible. Their manual defines help as giving a a melting hand. You know we cannot interfere. Oh no. But it's now he doesn't want to be learned it. about Christmas. So it's like uh, crypt, 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 Kryptonian justice. <laughs> It is forbidden for you to interfere in human history. Right, right, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Ignore me! <laughs> I was never here. Are you all right? Yes. We did it! You see? All you had to do was keep... Hello. How do you do? What about him? He ought to be ashamed of himself stealing that goose. And on Christmas Eve. Yeah, Iceman, Prime he Directive. Be in jail. That'll <laughs> yeah. fix him. Oh, the key. Wait, the is there is something we do not understand. Why did he steal the goose? Because he's no he was gonna eat it. Maybe it's because he was They're homeless. hungry. How could someone go hungry if this is Christmas? Yeah, that's a because good question. Because we were so busy thinking about ourselves. We never mm -hmm. thought about other people. That uh -huh. is possible. You want to spend Christmas with us, Marvin? Hey, who are you kidding? I, I want no, to dry off Marvin. right now. We'd Cause... like very yeah. much for you to I'd share like, um, our Christmas. I'd like some change of clothes, please. We've got please. loads of extra turkey. We've we got some bring. extra decorations. Well, Marvin, how about it? Sure you would. Right, Marvin? Any more questions? No. I think we understand Christmas now. Oh, they're going to ask something else. Yeah. What is fruitcake? <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah. This defies all analysis. <laughs> you going to leave now? No, buddy, you're not leaving now. <laughs> Blue meanie! <laughs> She's really 
proud of that. She should like mass, mass, you know, yeah. market that. She she it's built really cool. a, an angel uh, automaton. Hey, big boy, can I see your badge? Whoa, gone. Oh, hey, Marvin. Well, the abominable could have done a better job at that. Yeah. No one will ever go hungry again. Well, I don't know about that. Kids. Help the unfortunate. Where did the boys go? I'm sure I just <laughs> saw them. This is Peter. Dagwood sandwich. Marvin. Yeah. Griswold would have approved of that. Thanks, Nell, Vanna. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, it ended up being a neat little, uh, neat little Christmas special. Uh, yeah. One of Nelvana's earliest, and you could tell by the, the the design and the animation style. But it ended up being a nice little, uh, nice little cartoon with a nice little message. Um, we sure saw some bad stuff. Today, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we but we but had a good time. I actually, I I, <laughs> it, it pains me to say it, but I enjoyed that first half of the Christmas tree special. Oh, I hope it ends uh, just as poorly. Yeah, because it was so that's... so awful. Yeah, we'll, we'll it watch. Try to elevate above like mediocre. Ever. Yeah, yeah. So it's good. It we'll, knows its place. We'll watch the last half of that uh, next time and see what uh, see if the tree comes to life and kicks ass as it should. Oh. oh. <laughs> it, it, but it probably won't. No, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but there will be some kind of some kind of contrived happy ending, I'm sure. Guess, right. uh, guess who's going to adopt all the children? I think we know. Uh, I think we know how yep, that's going to be. The mayor. <laughs> the mayor. <laughs> yeah, the guy with all the money. I, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, uh, that's it uh, for today's uh, bad Saturday morning. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for your donations, uh, Chris and Ivory and. Um, and Miranda, and uh, thank you for the new follows. Uh, thank you for coming, uh, Iceman. Oh, Chris, it's nice. It's nice to see you again after all this time. I hope, uh, I hope, uh, I hope things uh, work out for you. I hope we get to see you more often. And thank you again, Mike, for uh, co-hosting this uh, this tragedy with me every week. Let's do it one more time tonight. Yeah, yeah. Mike and I will be back. Uh, to tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific, we will be uh, watching the Star Wars Holiday Special. Uh, <laughs> just saying that is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. For those of you who have not seen it, oh, boy, you're in for a, a treat. This is... Wow. It, it's going to be painfully awful, but it's going to be hilarious at the same time, and we'll be, yeah. we'll be laughing all through it. And it's a full two hours long because I downloaded a copy with, the, with all the commercials. Mm. Um, you'll even learn a Can't few things. You'll even learn a few things about world history from 1977 because there's some CBS news breaks in there. Um, you, yeah, you'll learn what the Russians were up to in, in 1977. And they haven't changed a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Chris says he can't wait for the commercials. So yeah, it'll, it'll be it'll be great fun. Uh, thanks again. We'll see everybody in about six hours. Thanks, Mike. Happy uh, Life Day, goodbye. everybody. Yeah, happy Life Day. <laughs> <laughs>